So, so tell me why I'm just rolling weed and this nigga kneecaps is just on my floor, nigga. <laughs> like, hey, what's this little block get warming on my face. This little block get warming, I ain't safe. This little block get warm enough to be. I know a bunch of y'all thought this would probably be like some professionally edited video because of the way I hooked up that intro, but uh, no, uh, not at all. Um, <laughs> I just needed something to hook you spineless, zero, zero attention span, TikTok watching niggas in, all right? The pandemic hasn't been very nice to me, but uh, then again, maybe I'm one of the lucky ones because, you know, I I'm over here thinking, you know, I'm over here depressed in a first world country. Meanwhile, niggas somewhere in fucking Liberia with no health insurance, you know, coughing up their lungs because of COVID. Uh, but yeah, uh, the pandemic hasn't really been, you know, nice to a lot of people. Uh, a lot of mental disorders and suicides were on the rise. You know, a lot of uh, self-reflection and revisiting the past happened. Everyone was going through some shit, right? I remember the, I remember the, uh, during the early stages of the pandemic, and I'm just in a house. I'm in a household, they just going insane. Uh, for some time, I got obsessed with my parents, you know, and, and the whole time I'm just stressing, always checking the mirror like every few minutes. Even when my mom took us to vacation for her birthday, we in Dubai, I'm in a hotel room, right, checking my reflection over and over again. I bought a bunch of creams, I bought a bunch of vitamin supplements. I was thinking about getting a scar on my, uh, on my forehead and on my nose removed and, um, I was just on the fucking pack. <laughs> I was on the fucking pack, bruh. And also another thing. Um, one sec. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> the doctor recommended me this, um, these antidepressants. It's called Cetraline. It's another name for Zoloft, right? And, um, <laughs> they help. They help. But they also don't help. Because um, she recommended me, um, I think it was 50 milligrams or something like that. Well, first it was 25 milligrams, then it was 50 milligrams. And on 50 milligrams of this shit, you, can, you can't feel anything. Like, you don't feel depressed anymore, but you, can, you don't feel anything at all, okay? You can see a literal child get shot beside you, and you, I, I just wouldn't feel anything, bro. There'd be, like, no fucking emotion. And... I don't know, I think, I don't know how long she wanted me to be on this for, but I was like, yo, I gotta get the fuck off this shit, because this shit is, this shit is, <laughs> it's helping me get out of bed, but it's, um, it's also helping me, like, I mean, it's also, like, not allowing me to actually feel shit, so, uh, I kind of substituted these for just, like, working out, I just, like, worked out a lot every day, and, um, who gives a fuck, right, but let me just, let me, let me talk about some other shit, um, for any religious people that are sensitive about their ideology, um, I highly urge you to skip to this timestamp on the screen. All right, I'm warning you right now. I don't, I don't want to see, I don't want to see all the fucking paragraphs on paragraphs debating in my fucking comment section. Cause look, 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 I don't care, bro. I'm not gonna reply to that bullshit, bro. I'm not. All right, so you've been warned. Skip to this timestamp. All right, um. I was arguing with my mom like almost every day, you know, arguing with her over shit that happened to me in the past, um, saying it's her fault for a lot of a lot of the shit that really ain't even her fault, you know. We argued about a lot of shit, um, but the main argument we always got into was I think about religion, right? Uh, my whole family, you know, we from the Caribbean, yeah, check it out, and the island we from, it's uh. It's extremely religious, right? My mom tried to raise us the same way she was brought up. And for a while, I kind of believed in a lot of the stuff she believed in until like maybe 11th or 12th grade. I, I don't really know. But uh, up to like two years after high school, I think I would still call myself religious, but really wasn't. And then like a year after that, I was just like, damn, this um, this ideology I'm, I'm trying so hard to hold on to is... Um, it's kind of toxic. <laughs> it's kind of toxic and, and narcissistic to a certain degree. Like, oh, you don't believe what I believe in? Oh, that's crazy, bro. You about to you about to burn in hell for all eternity. You're a man that doesn't like women? Huh. Huh. That's unfortunate, buddy. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs>
<laughs> like what sort of stupid ass shit is that? Like that, that that's literally the the most like like the least humane shit ever. Like imagine thinking people people are gonna be burning in this dimension for all eternity just because they didn't believe the same thing you believed in because they either grew up uh i mean you know they grew up and you know were influenced in a different way than you that is so looking back at it now i used to i used to make fun of my atheist friends and shit like ha you you don't believe in god i mean i mean not not believe in god you're not religious you're not religious bro you're cringe you're cringe but looking back i think I was the cringe one. I was the cringe one. And only during the pandemic did I really unleash all that pent up confusion and uh, frustration on my mom. Cause she was always so adamant and uh, what's it called? You know, so, so strict about that shit, right? I missed out like on a lot of fun shit throughout my childhood just cause she was always like in her own head. It makes me feel like a lot of my childhood was just a lie. All those Sundays, all those Bible studies on Tuesdays, or it makes it makes me realize that parents are really just grown up children, and you know, not the fucking gods we thought they were when we were children. So, and even though I'm upset about the whole thing, I, I don't hate my mom for it or nothing like that. You know, she's still my favorite person in the world. If anything, it, it really just shows me I gotta think for myself, and um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cause the whole time I'm going through all this shit. I'm a YouTuber, right? And my whole livelihood depends on uh, my relevancy, right? So even though I was so emotional during the whole thing, I still got to upload. And the stuff I uploaded, the whole mood and like feel of the videos were just how I was feeling. And people were pissed the fuck off, bro. Kneecaps, your videos suck now. We want you to make super fast-paced, edited, nonsensical videos. We don't want you to make shit based on how you're feeling. We own your channel. Now, um... Not, not, not everyone... Not everyone was like that, though. In fact, I don't even think it was like... The majority of people saying shit like that, just uh, just a very vocal minority. But um, to those sad scraps, to the to, to the to the sad scraps of shit that were giving me all that bullshit on top of the bullshit that was already on my plate. Um, are you okay, bro? Huh? Are you feeling good? Cause cause that's not normal human behavior. Okay, that's not normal human behavior, nigga. This is my channel. This is my channel, bruh. I sacrificed a lot of my free time through middle school, through high school, between work hours just to get where I'm at now. I'm going to post whatever the fuck I want on this shit, bruh. You feel me? All right? I honestly don't even care if this channel dies anymore, you know? I used to be so afraid of, oh no, if I post something people don't like, they're gonna unsubscribe. I honestly don't care anymore, right? If I gotta turn this, uh, you know, turn YouTube into my hobby instead of my job, then so be it. Because to be honest, I'm kind of sick of doing what other people want me to do, you know? I I've been getting a hold for, for a long time throughout my life. Not just, not just by those kids at school, all those kids at school, now from my, also from my mom, my biological dad, my stepdad, I ain't let nobody else control me, alright? I'm not, especially not some random niggas on the internet. <laughs> alright, that's it. 43, do it for the three, and the four free niggas grow wings. I said it's cool, but they know it's easy. I never move unless I need I was serious. Yeah, you gonna shout you out. Yeah, this nigga kneecaps on my floor right Shoot now. Shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs>